And we're gonna take a look back at some of those wonderful memories that you have been a big part of here on this show. So what do you say we, we take a look back and see what kind of surprises they have in store for me with some very special guests. John Summers and I came in 1990 and we had no problem fitting in. <laughs> Linda Pellegrino. <laughs> you flatter me. But even Carol wasn't the most glittering star. Eventually, my new co-host, Drew Kahn, joined the show, and I had the pleasure of interviewing many more Hollywood stars, musical artists. We need a drug -free America. A first lady, and even the Duchess of York, Sarah Ferguson. Look who I've got here. And when the popular soap opera General Hospital shot on location in Niagara Falls, I was offered the enviable role of a few lines and a close-up with Frisco himself, Jack Wagner. Excuse me, miss. Uh, do you know that chapter lands? Yeah, Goat Island. It's a great ride. You'll love it. Oh, where, how, how, how can we find Goat Island? Down the road, follow the signs. Thanks a lot. Let's go, let's go. At the time, super couple Luke and Laura were the hottest stars on daytime television. Their TV romance and wedding was watched by over 30 million viewers. Although AM Buffalo viewership isn't quite that large, we did, however, get a dedicated audience when my husband Bob and I renewed our wedding vows, along with some of our faithful viewers live on television. Bob, you may kiss your bride. the Bills Super Bowl era and Monday night Miami games, it was exciting broadcasting live. I always said hosting this show is like being in the front row of life. Even Buffalo Bills all-star Steve Tasker joined us for segments in Cancun, and we also visited Europe and the Bahamas. In 2015, we welcomed a new addition to AM Buffalo, Courtney Corbetta. You'll find her reporting from all over Western New York with her hometown enthusiasm and million dollar smile. Okay, here we go, one, two, three. Up hey, there. very good. As a breast and thyroid cancer survivor, I've had the opportunity to share my medical experiences during my chemo, hair loss, and treatment schedule. You as the audience were able to walk through it with me and share the survivor experience. Now, promoting annual mammograms continues to raise awareness. Remember when I raced a bus for ovarian cancer at crash -orama? Who knew it was still ahead for me? In 2013, I was proudly inducted into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame, and station manager Mike Nurse had the studio renamed after me. All right, hold on, let me get this straight. 30 years, over 9,000 shows. Linda Pellegrino, you truly are a living legend. Do you have any idea how much joy and happiness you've given to the people of Buffalo and all of Western New York? Unbelievable. And you're a graduate of SUNY Brockport. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I wish you all the best. We all wish you all the best in everything you do. You take care of yourself. Thank you.